Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. We're actually be heading outside today. We're finally having a little bit of cooler weather. So I thought I'd get some stuff done outside. I haven't uh, really brought you along with what's going on with the property or showing you around too much. So I thought we'd get in some work around here today and show you some of the stuff in the back as sort of like the uh, very long-term future dream goals of the, uh, the, the, the business and shop area way in the back. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. We'll have some box openings here later on in the video. Looking forward to seeing what's inside of there, but let's go for let's go for a quick walk and take a look. So today we're gonna to be walking all the way to the back of the property, just straight along through here. And I wanna show you a little bit about the area in the back where I, uh, you know, long-term wanna put all of the business-related stuff, uh, the future shop, the air quote dream shop. <laughs> it's still a dream. And it probably will be for a while. And then the uh, the future sawmill building. So moving has been pretty uh, intense and ridiculous. Haven't had a whole lot of time to do anything new. And of course, haven't really set everything up quite yet. And haven't had time to get out here and actually do anything, you know, on the land or anything. So today, a little bit of that. I have a couple of hours here before I have to take my kids to the dentist. <laughs> That's my day today. And then uh, tomorrow it's supposed to be kind of cool as well. So we'll pick back up with this uh, tomorrow. There's the uh, sawmill in the log yard. Current stack of logs. We're gonna keep walking here. All the way to the back. So for anyone who is new and hasn't uh, seen this area before, I do have a little video I shot last October after we purchased the property, kind of walked around a little bit and showed a good amount of this property off but uh this is a 22 acre previous uh horse property i think it was a horse property for maybe 30 years it hasn't had horses on it for about 10 at this point but it is set up for a lot of you know horse areas <laughs> I, I don't know all the equestrian terms yet <laughs> but you know like pasture areas where the horses can run around and do their thing. <laughs> so this area back here, this little pasture land, flat area, this is what we have kind of planned for the future kind of business zone on the property. So kind of looking through here from this tree line, which used to be the area between two fence lines, kind of towards the back there. At the end of the property is right where these kind of fun looking trees are at the end of the grass here. And then over to this side, where again we have uh, trees that grew up past the fence line. And then back over to here. It's about two, two and a half acres or so of area. Nice and hilly. So as I come down here along my little makeshift road that I made with the telehandler, so I can get back to this little alcove which we're going. Over on the left here is where I'm thinking I'll put the shop someday. We have this nice hill face. We have about a 10 foot rise from ground level here to ground level up there. So I'd like to do a two story shop structure and be able to have ground access on both levels. So if you keep walking this way, at the end of this kind of trail here is where I was thinking of having the sawmill building. Because it's a nice little alcove area. It's kind of nestled in these trees and it's fairly flat. So flat for this property. So for those of you who have been following me on Instagram, I have been uh, getting a little bit obsessed with the history of this property. So I went back and found a lot of aerial images of the, uh, the area, including this property. And one of the kind of weird things that I didn't quite understand about this area was why it was so weird. <laughs> like why it's so cut out of the uh, hillscape and why it seems kind of drier, like the ground conditions seem a lot drier. And then past this pile of wood is the neighbor's property. And it just looks weird, like someone was digging out here. There's like this old looking road area through here, which is just like some ruts, which is like, oh, that's kind of weird to have an old road with just some rut lines that go around the corner. But in the aerial images, it looks like this area was like quarried or was like a rock pit or sand pit or gravel pit or something like that. And after seeing the images, it becomes 
pretty darn obvious. If you look past the, uh, the property line here at this uh, sand pile, you can see that, yeah, this area must be like super rocky and sandy naturally. And this is where some stuff was being dug out in the 1950s before this property and our property, which used to be one parcel, were sold off. And that was in the, uh, the 60s. And then this parcel was split off from ours in the 80s. But anyway, looking down at this area where I'd like to put the sawmill, this is all like super sandy. That's just sand. <laughs> so it's kind of nice to know that the area back here is gonna have good drainage. But now we're at the back of the property line. So the property line is right here. There's this nice little shaded kind of alcove area over there, which I think would be kind of nice for like a drying area or a log yard or something. It's, uh, it's shaded, which is nice for that kind of stuff. And then again, if you pan back over, that's where the sawmill ideally would go. And then panning some more into this hill here is where the shop would go. So this is a nice big open area to run around and do woodworking stuff and whatever other stuff I feel like doing. <laughs> <laughs> the only uh, issue is there's no real good way to get back here so we are thinking we'll do a separate uh, driveway like to there and then out to the road that way so this area is a little more accessible it bypasses the house and would be like uh, truck accessible because just going and extending the driveway past the house back down through where we walked through there uh, would not be truck accessible anyway so yeah, <laughs> there'll be a lot of infrastructure that has to go in first. But anyway, one of the things I wanted to do today was finish the removal of the old uh, electric fence to keep the horses contained. So back along here, I still have a few posts to pull and there is some fence line throughout the area. I especially want to get some of these fence posts out from in front of where the sawmill stuff's gonna go. So I think I'll walk back up and grab the skid steer so I can start pulling these uh, T posts out and while we're up there we can open the boxes from Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering awesome boxes which will introduce you to new products based off your preference quiz and the box lineup changes every month. They sent me out three samples to take a look at so let's uh, let's open them up. Okay box one is called Forge. It looks like we have a pretty awesome looking knife. This is made by Buck and Bear Knives. Yeah it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's, wow. That's a nice, and that's sharp, yep. <laughs> that, is, that is really beautiful. Okay, box two is called Split. And look at this beautiful hatchet. It's got a nice sheath on it. This is gonna come in pretty handy later on when we go out in the woods and keep cleaning up, that's for sure. Okay, box three is called Caprese. This comes with everything you need to make the ingredients for a Caprese salad. And I'm really looking forward to the cheese making kit because I have never made cheese before, so I think that'd be kind of fun. And I bet the kids are gonna absolutely love this process of turning some milk into cheese. Now here's a bit about how Bespoke Post works. Every box has around a $70 value, but only costs 45, and you only pay for what you want. You'll get a box assigned to you each month based on the quiz you take when signing up. And before it's shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes inside so you can decide if you wanna keep it, if you wanna swap it for a different box on offer, or skip the month entirely for absolutely no charge. And again, the box lineup will change every month. To get 20% off your first box, click the link in the description and enter code CREMONA20 at checkout or go to bspk.me slash CREMONA20. Thanks again, Bespoke Post, for sponsoring this video. So maybe some with more hydraulic experience than I have can tell me why I so rarely can actually hook up any of my auxiliary hydraulics without bleeding the pressure and the attachment first. It's super annoying. It's like it's got too much back pressure within the system 
of the actual attachment. Because unless I bleed this thing, can't hook it up. Okay, let's go. A lot of tea posts in it. A lot. So while we're back here, I want to show you this tree. This is the most mature walnut tree on this property. There's only a few, but this is the biggest. Not super big, but as you can see, it's producing walnuts. So I'll be able to propagate a few more walnut trees from this one. And uh, that'd be pretty cool. I didn't have a chance to prune this thing uh, over the winter, but when it goes dormant this year, I will remove these lower limbs and start living this thing up so it's less uh, bushy. So I will probably end up removing all the limbs, you know, up into here. Eventually, I'll start with a few down here this year and then work my way up, encouraging it to go upwards. You get more trunk <laughs> that way. Trees, not bushes. So this is that uh, sort of alcove area that I was talking about that would be good for a drying area or a log yard or something. Fairly okay. As far as shade goes, uh, south is that way. So it's got a little bit of shade cover and then morning coverage, uh, afternoon and evening, not so much, but there's not a whole lot of shady areas here in this property. Uh, that little post over there is the south uh, east corner of the lot.
I'll pick that up later. So that area up there is where I'm going to be putting the Arboretum and if we pan back the way we came boop, 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 This is one of the back corners. That's the southwest corner of the property and we swing all the way back around that is back where we started So back in there is the, uh, the sawmill alcove thingy and this is the, the shop hill thing and if we continue swinging You've seen this before. This is the uh, the horse shelter, the run-in, whatever everybody wants to call it that I have full of wood. <laughs> so I think uh, that's probably about it for fence pulling. I'm going to swap this grapple for the forks and pick up all these fence posts I just pulled out. Okay, that's it for now. I'm gonna go be a dad. Take my kids to the dentist. Okay, back from the dentist. I have a few minutes here before dinner time to finish up what I was doing. So I'll finish picking up these stakes. But over here is that old road that I was talking about earlier. It's probably not super easy to see on camera, but there's like a rut right here and a rut right there. So it's like a track width from a vehicle. So I don't know, kind of weird. Like. It's just an old road through here. Good to know. It looks like there's a hornet nest in there. So we're gonna leave that alone <laughs> for a while. Not that I need to get into this pile of T-posts ever again, but you know, we'll, we'll wait till it's winter before we go messing with that pile. So I'm gonna walk you through what I am planning to do tomorrow. Tomorrow's be more like uh, tree management or whatever. So up in here, in this area, needs a little bit of pruning and cleanup work these trees need a these trees need a lot of uh, dead wood removed and just to make it a little bit easier and more fun to walk through this area so tomorrow we'll come through here with a chainsaw and clean up all this dead stuff and just make it look a little bit nicer and just make it easier to walk through this, uh, this cool area all right good morning it looks like another beautiful day we got a nice light breeze Let's go, uh, let's go get the chainsaw, and I'm pretty sure it needs to be sharpened. I do need to put my chainsaw rack back up. <laughs> It'd be a lot less disorganized looking in here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty dull. Let's go sharpen this thing.
right, this should be it. Let's go. I'm super excited for this. I have been inside way too much lately. Ooh. Oh, it's nice in the shade. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of cleanup to do in here. It's already making a huge difference being able to walk in here without all these limbs hanging everywhere. Unfortunately, there are several smaller trees that couldn't quite compete with the established canopy in here, so they're just standing there dead. So this area is going to look pretty empty in a second when I get this dead stuff out of here. Man, this is, it's looking good already. Crazy. What a difference. <laughs> Here's a jump back to before, and here are after. Big difference.
So it still needs a little more work, but it is looking quite a lot better. You can actually walk through here and it seems a lot more spacious now too. So I will have to come back with a pole saw and get some of the higher dead limbs out of here, but just getting that lower stuff out of here makes a big difference. You can actually walk through here and it's just so open and clear. We got what, five piles of brush? <laughs> so much brush for just this one little tiny area. Now I can come through and just clean up all this other lower dead stuff. Get this looking a little bit nicer. You know, less of this stuff in your face as you're trying to walk through here. So I think the kids are going to love this. This is going to give them one more place to hang out and explore and have fun. I think it's going to do it for today though. It's a fun little exercise, spend the day outside kind of day. There's a quick pan of the area for you. And that's going to do it for this one. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions or comments about the property or anything back in the shop. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy Order Kings.